One of my favorite demonstrations is an even more spectacular example of Newton's first and second laws of motion. And it also emphasizes the fact that science, physics included, is not something that's just done in a laboratory. It's really around us every day. You could see in the last demonstration, we used everyday items from the kitchen. This does exactly the same thing. I have started out with four glasses here. Each has water in it. I'm going to put on top of that another item from the kitchen. This is just a pie pan. You can use a cake pan or a pizza pan. And I'm going to put that on top of the glasses. Then I'm going to put toilet tissue tubes centered over each of the glasses. Now I want you to think about physics every day. We're going to get these carefully centered over each of the glasses. Kind of check my alignment for me there. Now, I need to be really careful here to get them centered because on top of the toilet tissue tubes, I'm going to put raw eggs. I'll put an egg on top of each tube. Now recall, Sir Isaac Newton tells us, just like in the tablecloth, if I can pull that pie pan out from underneath the tubes, the eggs, being fairly massive, having a fairly good amount of inertia, should fall right down into the glasses. Remember, an object at rest stays at rest until acted upon by an outside force. So if I put the force just on the pie pan, it should move, the egg shouldn't. Are you ready for this? Well, I don't know if I am, because <laughs> in all honesty, I don't think I can pull that pie pan out from under those eggs fast enough to get them to fall. Probably the better thing to do is to hit that pie pan with something. I happen to find a broom here in the studio. So what I'm thinking is if I hit the edge of this pie pan, the pie pan should fly out from under those eggs. The eggs should drop straight down. What do you think? Let's see, who should I aim at? Tim, that's a good person to aim at. Now, I am headed for trouble here because as you can see, that is a very narrow um, edge on that pie pan and I really run the risk of missing the pie pan and whoops, hitting the eggs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a better shot at that pie pan. Instead of hitting it with a broom to the side, I'm going to hold the broom in a vertical position and I'm gonna stand on it with my foot by pulling back the broom handle and letting it snap, you can hear that. I'm getting a, a pretty decent kind of force on that. Pretty substantial force. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that broom handle, pull it back, and try to hit the pie pan. What I'm going to do is touch it in the pie pan first to make sure it hits. Are we ready? Sir Isaac, I need you now. Here we go. That was great. You want to see an instant replay? These are raw eggs. Ah, physics.